Hi, this is Vishwanathan and today I will introduce you to Builder Design Pattern. Let us understand Builder Design Pattern with an example. Merrick is a leading car builder which provides varieties of car. It maintains two varieties of car that is German cars and US cars. Each car consists of engine, tires and a specific color on which the car is painted. Merrick wants us to design a software solution which will help us in building varieties of cars. Shown is the analysis for the given problem. A car consists of engine, tire and a paint. The process of creating a car will involve first creating an engine and then the tires and then painting the car with the required color. So in order to create an object of type car, all these three components has to be created and then finally the car object will be created. Hence the process of creating the car object becomes very complex. As a result, maintaining this code will become difficult. Making the car object by making all the subcomponents is not an efficient solution since tomorrow if we have to add some new component to the car it will be very difficult also if the number of cars are different maintaining the software will be a nightmare if by some means we are able to separate the process of creating subcomponents and the process of creating the car object then our solution will be more flexible and easy to use. Builder design patterns helps us in designing the same. Shown is a solution to the given problem by using builder design pattern. We have a car builder interface which contains the declaration of all the functions which are necessary to build the subcomponents required for creating a car. Two classes US car builder and German car builder implement this interface and give body to the functions which are declared within the car builder interface. Car object will be generated by using US car builder and German car builder. If client directly gets access to US car builder and German car builder then he has to necessarily call all the methods which are responsible for creating the subcomponents for a car. This will result in a problem since the client has to know all the methods which are present within the car builder classes. In order to isolate the client from knowing all the methods which are present within the US car builder and German car builder class, we create an intermediate class with the name director. The director class holds a reference of type car builder and has a build function. The build function is responsible for creating all the subcomponents. Thus the client can directly invoke the build function and get the required object instead of calling all the methods which are present within the car builder. The advantage of using the director class is if tomorrow I want to change some of the components within the car it can be easily done without noticing by the user or the end client since the end client will directly invoke the build method let us see how to implement the same using java shown is the car class having various components like engine paint and tire for the sake of simplicity we are considering all of them to be string we are defining getters and setters for the same within this class. Shown is the car builder interface which contains various functions which are needed to be implemented by the concrete car builders. The function make engine paint and make tires are responsible for creating the components of car. We also have a get car function which is responsible for returning the object of type car. Two classes 
German car builder and US car builder implement this interface and give body to the functions as per their standards. We also have a make car function which is responsible for creating the car and initializing it with various subcomponents. Finally, we have the get car function which is responsible for returning the car object. Nearly same implementation is done by US car builder in which cars are created as per US standards. It also has a get car function which is responsible for returning the object of type car. Shown is the director class. The director class holds a reference of type car builder within it. It has setters and getters for the same. It has a build method which is responsible for invoking the make car function present within the builder. The director class as a constructor which takes the builder class as an argument. The final step is to test the application and the same is done by using test.java class. Inside the main function within this class, we first create a builder of type US car builder and we pass the same to the director constructor. Then we invoke the build function present within the director and we invoke the get car function which is present within the builder which will return us the car all the subcomponents will be initialized within the build function and we will get a car which contains all the subcomponents as per our requirements when we invoke the car dot get engine we will get the engine of type us since we have made a car by using us car builder if i want german car builder i just have to replace this us us car builder with the german car builder object and pass the same to the director class since we have separated out the implementation part of the car object and the process of getting the car object the code becomes easy to maintain and use this is the advantage of using builder design pattern we will execute the program to see the result on executing the given class we get the type of the car engine as us similarly we can get germany engine type if we pass an object of type germany car builder this is the advantage of using builder design pattern the builder design pattern can be defined as follows it moves the construction logic of the object from the object class to the builder class thus creating less amount of load on the object class thus it improves the process of constructing the object making new changes in the object and it gives rise to modular design which will help in maintenance let's look at next design pattern which is known as state design pattern